Hi you guys, it is the start of a brand new year, a brand new month, and I'm just feeling very, um, I don't want to say rejuvenated, like I lost my rejuvenation, but <laughs> I'm feeling just very even. And that is really good. So I explained to you in my let's chat video that January is a time for me to like recharge, reset after a crazy holiday season. Now is the time where I can just like whoo, take a breather, do some fun stuff, do some planning, which just planning just speaks to my soul. Like I, I am a planner through and through. I love planning. It makes me feel so good. Um, so that is what January is all about for me. And I think that my plans reflect that. I don't even know where to start. So let's start with some of the more obvious stuff. So for Black Friday, I got the Ruby Star panel, mask panel. I held it up to my body like it's clothes. Um, so I need to start crack a lacking and making some of these masks. They have the rounded ones and then they also have same sheet, same panel, the pleated ones. And you can make these reversible or you can use a solid fabric on the inside and make, I think, 20 masks. 10 if you make it, use one, two of the fabrics, 20 if you use your own lightning fabric. So I wanna make some of those so I can have some really cute masks. Um, and I just, I just, this panel does not need to sit in my stash. <laughs> We're not going to need masks forever. So I might as well go ahead, make them and use them while I can. Next up, that same order that came from Style Maker Fabrics. So did this. Look at this dreamy, dreamy, like fuzzy rib knit. So luxurious, so lovely. And what I want is a large funnel neck turtleneck really big funnily thing uh sweater type thing i have a pattern and i didn't pull it out but if you remember i just posted it a few months ago that purple sweater <clears throat> i made out of a sweater knit has that really big funnel neck remember i had the picture like covering half my face i think that's the one i'm going to use but i'm not i'm not totally settled on that i think in my mind what i want i haven't been able to find so what I would like is a toaster sweater. You know how the toaster sweater has like a grown on turtleneck, a grown on, it's not a collar really, is it? A grown on neck, extended neck, whatever that is, where there's not a seam line at your neckline. I'd like that, but like way bigger. So A, is there a pattern for that? Or B, can I just take the toaster sweater and like extend that? front piece just straight up and down like four or five inches or whatever it is that I'm thinking of in my mind imagining in my mind I just want it to kind of fall and then just kind of like sit like little ripply things that's what I'm imagining but if not then I'll just make like a slouchy funnel neck situation with that um I also made the French Navy morning side top and dress and I forgot to include it in my makes video um well technically it's not finished yet so I guess it's like a plan I I literally have one sleeve and some buttons to do but here she is pretty darn cute right I got this like rayon twill from Joanne um it lines up a lot better on my body um here's one sleeve done with a little ruffly thing and then here's one I just need to add the ruffle to it I am kind of obsessed with this. This is a very, very well drafted collar, which is really the challenging, interesting part about this top. Everything else about it, I mean, it's like a dolman sleeve. It does have a yoke in the back with a little gather or pleat um, and then a half placket. But this collar is drafted really, 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 really well. And it makes me want to get all of the French Navy patterns. Um, so this is the morning side. It's really, really good. The hem is longer in the back than the front. I can't wait to show you guys this on whenever it's finished, when it's finally done. But it's technically a plan because I have this last little sleeve and I've got to put the buttons on this part of the button pocket. But I'm really excited about it. Um, so yeah, I've got that to do. 
And then, okay, do you guys remember when I was talking about Graphy? Graphy is the app that has all of the video courses on it. Everything from like snowboarding to baking to I mean everything under the sun if you want to learn how to do something you go to this graphy app and there will be someone an expert in the industry teaching you how to do it they came to me about sewing and wanted me to be on their app as like the sewing representative well this was back in July maybe I don't know what happened it just I got too busy is basically the saddest excusable but I need to get back on the wagon with that and get, get these videos done and up on that app so that um, you guys can start getting them. It's basically like a sew along and um, a sew along plus all the information I have about machines and notions and picking out fabric and yada, yada, yada. But then once you learn all of that, then we go into making a garment. I chose the Itch to Stitch Melrose top and dress because Itch to Stitch has cup sizes for all of their patterns with bodices. They have an extended size range, so it will fit most bodies and you can choose between a top and a dress. So I thought it was a very versatile pattern that was also very inclusive. So for that, I have this like linen blend from Style Maker Fabrics still available. This is a color called Ocean, stunning, gorgeous. I'm obsessed, obsessed with this color. It's like a teal and navy had a baby. Um, it would be Ocean. So I've got to get started on this. I might not get to the actual sewing portion of that because like I said, there's all those other little segments of videos leading up to the actual sew along portion, but I've got to get crack a in on that. I have a goal to finish it this month. All of it, all the videos this month. So we will see how I do on that. And then, I don't know if you saw the big announcement or not, but um, So Expo is going virtual this year. That's the one that takes place in Puyallup, Washington. I went there last year, um, gave a couple classes on social media and kind of the business side of what I do. This year I'm back, but I am teaching sewing classes virtually. Um, one of them is all about jeggings. So we are gonna talk about different jegging patterns that are available to you, different details that can go into making your jeggings. And then we're gonna actually like practice sewing on either a ponty knit or a stretch denim um, to help you achieve really beautiful top stitching, which is really what makes a jegging not leggings in my opinion. The other class that I'm doing is a, a pretty much a sew along in four hours. So it is the Love Notions Cadence Top. That is what I'm teaching to sew. Um, so I need to start working on making my versions. I have three to make. One I'm going to make ahead of time to kind of like promote the class. Two, the second one I'm going to make is going to be a part of like the actual sew along. So like I'm pre-filming different segments of it so that I can be there to answer questions and like be active in the Zoom. Um, more so than completely distracted with like cutting something out. So that is what the second fabric for is for. And then the third fabric is for some of the things that I have to do live in the Zoom as well. So that's why I have three different fabrics, but all of these are available at StyleMaker Fabrics. All of these are specifically chosen by me um, for the cadence top. So it's one of those things where it's not actually a kit, but like I picked the pattern, I picked the fabric to go with the pattern. This is the fabric I'm gonna be using for my version. So it's as close to a kit as you can possibly get. If you're interested in learning more about Sew Expo, when it is, how to attend, how to sign up for my classes, look at the other classes that are available, tons and tons of garment sewing this year, which is really exciting. Check the link in the description box. There will be information about it there. So I know that I said that January was kind of like a refresher, like taking a little bit of a break, but it's not. And if you saw my Let's Chat video, you also know I have a puppy coming. 
So that's going to be a whole other job in itself, raising a being. So I don't really think I know what I was getting myself into. That's why I'm glad. See, this is why I'm a planner. Because if I don't sit down and like verbalize all this or write all this down, here I am thinking January is no big deal. It's like a breather month for me. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Anyways, what do you have planned for January? What kind of projects are you working on? Let me know in the comments section below. If you have any questions about anything that I mentioned at all, please leave those there as well. Otherwise, that's going to do it for me today. I've got to get sewing, clearly. Cutting, sewing, making. Um, but I'll see you all very soon. Bye!